Yeah, my name is Valerie O'Donnell. I'm a professor of biochemistry at Cardiff University in the UK. And I'm a co one of the co-organizers for the Keystone Symposia Lipids in Cellular Function and Disease, which is coming up next April, 2025 in Breckenridge, Colorado. Our vision in organizing this interdisciplinary meeting is to bring together the most impactful recent research in lipids particularly as it's applied to understanding of human health and disease. Our focus isn't restricted to specific lipid categories and our coverage includes also new and emerging areas such as ferroptosis and also discovery of new lipid mediators, along with some of the more well-established themes of metabolic and cardiovascular lipid research. The uniqueness of the meeting comes from the focus on discovery lipidomics applied to mechanistic research and how this can be developed and harnessed to transform our understanding of human disease. Our faculty is drawn from leading scientists from broad areas of lipid biochemistry and metabolism, along with established and emerging clinical research leads and also industry, and we'll be coming together to communicate current thinking and future plans for the field and to explore potential opportunities for translation. I'll talk about a couple of them now. So ferroptosis is a huge emerging area. And through the work of Marcus Conrad, our keynote speaker, many new insights into this pathway and how it might be involved in neurodegenerative or other diseases, or how it could be harnessed therapeutically, particularly in cancer, are emerging. I'm also excited to hear about the discovery of new lipid mediators. Dominic Campopiano will be covering the area of microbial sphingolipids. Uh, this is a real big emerging area now, um, and, and this is covering not only just new lipid structures from microbes, but also how they can be metabolized in the human gut to form unique species that could be of major importance to how the microbiome interacts with the gut-brain axis. And we're really only at the tip of the iceberg with our understanding of this. I'm personally very interested uh, in the deeper dive into phospholipid biochemistry and metabolism that's experiencing a renaissance right now. Uh, Junkan Aoki and Takeshi Hariyama will both be covering recent impactful developments in this area during their talks. Uh, related to this also is the work of Sarah Cohen, who's going to be presenting on lipid droplets and how they link up with mitochondria to regulate lipid metabolism. And the area of lipid droplets, a bit like ferroptosis, is a really hot area right now, relevant to lots of different human diseases. The meeting is bringing together a diverse range of topics um, and several new and emerging areas of biochemistry research, but overall with a clear focus on how these areas are directly relevant for human disease. So we hope that clinical and non-clinical researchers with a focus on translation will be excited to come to the meeting and be inspired by the impactful research and how it could be relevant for the major diseases that in, in, impact us all. Well, several of the speakers use, use the newest generation lipidomics method, including high sensitivity quantitative assays. Um, and this is particularly relevant for driving clinical applications so we will have several speakers showcasing how these new generation instruments can be used for diagnostic and therapeutic work. For example, the work of Michael Gelb on inborn errors of metabolism and newborn screening is, is a really great example of that. Um, other presenters may also be discussing single cell lipidomics, which is a, a, a new emerging area of development and also lipid imaging as well. One of the great features of the Keystone Symposium format is, is that, you know, this this is a, a meeting of a, a medium size where you get the chance to meet experts in the poster sessions and have informal, many informal opportunities to network between early career researchers and, and experts, including the chance to go skiing as well. Um, and so I just want to point out the abstract deadline is January 14th for short talks and March 16th for poster presentations. In relation to um, workshops, we're going to be holding a workshop on lipid maps, which is an open access biomedical resource providing databases, tools and software to the lipid research community and lots of educational materials also. So with our strong focus on underpinning mechanisms, the meeting will be of obvious interest to biochemists, cell biologists and pharmacologists. Uh, we've got a high proportion of early career researchers presenting and we hope this will strongly encourage the participation of more junior scientists, uh, particularly uh, from abstract submissions and selected short talks um, as well as posters. <laughs>